Okay. Don't let the title mislead you. I'm going to give some very valid points on why this game is more likely than you think to be ported for a third time. So, reason number one. The Wii U was sold like 13 million copies, something like that. Mario Kart 8 for the Wii U was the best selling Wii U game and fastest selling Wii U game of all time and it sold roughly 8 million copies. So it was the best selling game on that system. Now, you go to the Switch. The Switch outsells the Wii U, obviously. It's at like 113 million. Ironically, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe becomes the best selling game. I don't know if it's fastest, but it became the best selling game on the Switch. And now it is approaching, if not, it might be at 60 million. So over half Switch owners have Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And how do you add more life to a game? DLC. Now, here's the reason why I say they are going to add this game again. Nintendo loves to repeat history. Mario Kart 8, all that DLC, 8 million people got to use it. Well, 8 million people at the base game, maybe let's just say half. 4 million people got the DLC. Okay, now we're at Mario Kart 8 Deluxe where at least 50 plus million people have gotten the DLC that was in Mario Kart 8 to experience that. Now, same thing is going to apply. Here's the thing. You have to implement something that's going to make people buy this game a third time. The second reason was you added more characters, you gave double items, you gave a battle mode. So that's plenty of reasons. I think add more items to this game, Mega Mushroom, Fake Item Box, something. You have to add some sort of game mechanic that is going to get people, especially me, that are very passionate about this game. You have to give us a reason to want to get it again. So that's something they're going to have to think of. Maybe add a new game mechanic. I don't think they will, but they need to do something just like I did with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe that made people say, oh, okay, this is quite a bit different. That's my take on it. All of the characters in the next Mario Kart, all of these tracks, they don't need to add any more tracks. I think it's fine right now. Maybe remix the base tracks because of how old they are. Because whatever new feature, I don't know, they're going to have to put a spin on it or something. Because I, I know people really won't be happy, including myself, playing like Thwomp Ruins when it's like over 10 years old and nothing's changed. Because I'm already tired of the base tracks now. The DLC is what's really like making this game so much more enjoyable but basically what they'll do is I believe they're gonna add more characters to finish the row because where else can you put Peach and Pauline unless they make skins then add the extra characters because they're all gonna come from Tor because I don't think there's anyone else really to add you can add Rob and then port the game again port your best-selling switch game of all time and your best-selling Wii U game of all time your best-selling game for almost 10 years to the new console with all the DLC included mark it down to $40 $30 or mark it to where owners of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe just like how when people had Final Fantasy 7 remake for PS4 when they got they got it on PS5 I'm pretty sure they didn't have to pay anything so do the same thing for this game or put it at a discount so you still get some sales. Then release a Mario Kart 9 towards the middle of the system's life.